Hi, I'm Nagdo, Application Scientist at Spectrodyne. In this video, we'll be going over how to combine, save, and export the data. I have here multiple stats files from a single particle measurement run. When what we would like to do with these multiple files is to combine them into a single entity for simpler manipulation. So let's navigate over to the data output tab. So under combine data and generate run report, select all loaded. This will combine all the loaded files and also generate a one page run report in Excel format. The run report contains important run information as well as side distribution plot and transit time and scatter plot. Once the combined file has been created, you can still change it as you wish and save the modified version by clicking the selected button for a single file or all loaded button to save all files um, currently loaded in the frame. This will create a new combined file and does not overwrite the previous file. Now let's take a look at the export options. The run report option allows you to create the Excel run report format without having to combine the data again. The site distribution data export option will allow you to modify the binning for the site distribution as well as the units in the concentration, whether it's number weighted or volume weighted, as well as a density weighted or absolute concentration unit. If we choose to export the site distribution to an Excel file, the output file will contain two sheets. The first sheet is the metadata, which contains information about the run. And the second sheet is the CSD, which contains the size um, breakdown and also a, a custom plot of the site distribution. Peaks in the raw data option will export the parameters recorded for each of the detected event. To export the measured concentration for one or more integration ranges, click on the integration range report and specify the desired export options. The last option under export is subtract CSDs. This option allows for subtracting one CSD from another CSD. And this is very useful if we have a blank measurement that we want to subtract the sample measurement from. For example, I have a combined file from a sample run and a combined file from a blank measurement run. Now let's see what the actual size distribution of the sample will be if we subtract out the blank. So select A to be the sample and B to be a blank and click on view CSD. We can see now that the blank subtracted data is shown as a black curve on this graph. You can customize the look of this plot as well as exporting the data to Excel by going to the subtract CSD dialog box. So I've shown you how to combine, save, and export the data in the viewer software. I hope you find it useful. Further details are available in the Instrument Operation Manual, and if you have any questions, contact us at support at spectrodynelc.com. More training videos are also available on our website. Thank you for your attention.